Yo guys, what's going on? So first YouTube video in quite a while. Haven't posted a YouTube video since quarantine started, but I got an awesome arm day for you guys to do at home or at the gym. I know gyms are slowly opening back up. And so this is something you guys can do, like I said, at home or at the gym. I hope you enjoy it. A little bit of a update with me. I've been bulking lately with quarantine. I've just been eating and eating and eating. So I decided to just do a full on bulk. Um, Last YouTube video you guys would see me, I was about 156. I'm now sitting at about 186. Yep, I've gained about 30 pounds. A little bit of mix of clean eating and a little bit of junk food. So, definitely gained some weight. It feels good though. Um, I like being a little bit on the heavier side. I've never really been up to 200, so I would like to get up to 200, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. We're gonna see where this bulk goes. It is summertime though, and I feel like I still want to stay lean-ish, right? But we'll see. You know what? It's up in the air. During this quarantine, I've had some equipment available to me, such as dumbbells. I've had a pull-up bar, some resistance bands. So I've been able to make do at home. I haven't posted a video since before quarantine, so I apologize for that. Hopefully, you guys have been keeping up with my Instagram. I've been doing uh, at-home workouts. Every day I've been posting a video for you guys to try and make sure that you're maintaining as much muscle mass or as much muscle uh, as possible during this time. I hope everybody's staying safe and uh, that's all I got for now. So enjoy the video guys. Hey guys, so I wanted to just talk a little bit throughout the workout here, um, kind of what was going throughout my mind during this uh, arm day. I did multiple of these arm days. <laughs> I did a lot of these arm days during the quarantine. Um, not much to do around the house, so why not do like two hour workouts every day, right? But um, yeah, so when I was kneeling on the ground here, it's just to take any extra movement out of the uh, exercise. So making sure I was using no momentum and just really focusing on getting a full contraction with every single breath. I do a little bit of flexing here and there in between the uh, in between the exercises, cause I mean, I'm in my house and why not? While my cat in the background cleans himself, cleans herself, I should say. Um, so yeah, after the presses, we moved on to some lateral raises. Um, pretty lightweight here. I think I was using 12s or 15s and uh, decided to try out this little bit of a variation here where I did single arm and uh, just kind of played around with it a little bit. Did uh, a few together, a few, on their own and then I did some uh, holding reps as well. This burns guys. This really, really burns the caps of your shoulders. You wanna grow some delts, put these into your regular day routine and you'll notice some growth. Now, one thing I've been doing a lot of while in quarantine was a lot of front raises as well. Usually I don't do too many front raises when I was in the gym, just because I found that I would hit the front head a lot already doing a lot of chest work, but I couldn't go too heavy on the dumbbells. I was very limited in my house. So I found that throwing in these front lateral raises, whether they be uh, straight hammer style or maybe even like an underhand hit even up more of the upper chest as well um, definitely helped me grow a little bit of my front delt Definitely always recommend doing rear delts when you do a shoulder day. You could throw rear delts in with your back day if you wanted to, um, but don't skip them. 
doing your rear delts is very important. It gives you that overall 3D look and it actually just makes you look wider and thicker. Your, like your shoulders will just look more defined and more of that overall 3D shape. One workout I did a lot of during this quarantine was concentration curls. I found that I could honestly just close my eyes and just get a full on my muscle connection and really get a solid arm pump. Make sure when you come up, you squeeze inwards on with your pinky. And I know that a lot of people were limited with the weights they had in their house. So this exercise here is perfect if you only have a light weight and you just hold the contraction at the top while you curl the other arm. Moving on to some, some tricep dips, use a chair, use a couch, use whatever you got to use, but definitely be able to get, uh, try to get down to a 90 degree and uh, you'll definitely feel this. You can play with your different grips too. You could grab on the outside of the chair or the uh, front of the chair. Just find what's, uh, what's ever comfortable with your wrists. Find whatever is giving you the best contraction. Uh, I played around with skull crushers a lot with the dumbbells, um, different variations, supinated, pronated grips. It's a lot you can do uh, for a tricep extension with the dumbbell. Throughout lots of this quarantine, I did a lot of single arm exercises um, or single single body exercises, I should say, uh, like you know, like a one armed row, a run, one arm um, dumbbell press, a one arm shoulder press. Uh, kept the reps really high, usually within no less than 10 usually, and kept it between 10 and 20. Pumps were absolutely insane. My house was always so hot, so the blood was just pumping. I was sweating. I was feeling good. And to be honest, during this quarantine, guys, I'm not going to lie, I kind of enjoyed my workouts. I didn't have much else to do, so I'd really just make sure I was fueled and ready to go. And uh, I can honestly say I came out of this stronger and I have a way better my muscle connection than I did before. Yo, 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 that was a workout. We are juiced, we are pumped. We got it going all into the gym. Yo guys, so I definitely forgot to wrap up the video for the workout, but I'd like to know what you guys thought of the workout. And if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below. But like always, have yourselves all a great day and happy lifting. See you in the next video, guys.